All right, so um, I just made a video a couple of days ago. It's like not the best quality, but it was talking about law of attraction and, um, you know, whatever. So, um, okay, this is what I want to elaborate on. Um, in life, things happen in the outside world, and usually, most of the time, because we're human and we have a mind, we create a story about what is happening outside of ourselves. And we also create meaning. We try to attach meaning to every little thing that happens. We try to take everything personally. We try to figure out what does that experience in relation to us have to do with who I am as a being. The law of attraction, the theories that are put out there on the internet, always talk about what is outside as a reflection of what is inside. Therefore, making the outside determine what is like going on in here. Do we not live in a very dysfunctional world though? Can I just like keep pointing that out? And if you want to call me angry or like defensive, like that's okay. You can absolutely do that because I actually am angry and I don't know about defensive, but I'm just like, I'm tired of listening to bullshit. You know what I mean? Especially like in the self-help community. Okay, so, um, people that speak about codependency also speak about law of attraction and they always intermingle the two. And what I was saying in my last video is how we, tr we always look at like what's going on out there to, you know, whatever. And so every time we see something that happens, like say for example, this is something that happened to me. And um, I am now trying to restructure the way that I see things because I've invested so much of my time and my energy and my like strength in developing beliefs around law of attraction. And now I see a lot of them are just very self-defeating. And so I'm trying to restructure that. But I'll give you a prime example of one thing that happened that I created meaning about. So... I was walking, right? I see a person. I like get rejected by this person. Very lack of details, whatever. The person is like absolute, you know what I mean? Whatever. And so now, law of attraction ideas would say, okay, like if I'm in that mindset of thinking, um, this person's rejecting me because I reject myself. It's a reflection of what's going on within me. So, I'm being rejected because I reject myself, I don't like myself, this and that. And that is what the universe is reflecting back to me. It's what it's mirroring back to me. If we were to be logical, functioning, smart thinking human beings, instead of doing that, wouldn't we say, okay, in my prime example, this person was an in the closet gay guy, right? It said it very clearly like on his profile. This was like a grinder interaction, whatever. It is what it is. And um, so the conversation was very vague and then I ended up being blocked from this person. This is how I like ultimately, which I didn't like fall into it, but like what my mind would have gone to, okay, I'm, I'm rejected. I'm not good enough. What am I doing that he doesn't like me? Law of attraction, law of attraction, law of attraction, law of attraction. And it's just like, fucking alert going off in your mind. It's because your mind is programmed to think, Outside is a reflection of who I am. If you invest your faith in thinking law of attraction, law of attraction all fucking day long and taking every single thing personally. Wouldn't it be a healthier idea to reframe, say, okay, you know what? This person rejected me, not because I reject myself, but because, okay, this person can be, he's in the closet. He's probably paranoid. You know what I mean? or he's like a douchebag, or he's insecure, or things like that. I don't need, like, you don't need to go into like what makes you feel better because like I personally don't feel better. I don't feel any differently now than what happened then. So it has nothing to do with self-esteem. You don't have to be like, okay, let me find out a way to figure out why he's bad so that I can feel good about myself, yada yada. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, with all that ranting, um, basically 
I think like, you know, all I've wanted to do is really just like, I don't know, like revolt, <laughs> uh, subconscious, subconsciously against these ideas and, um, I don't know, just, it's just pissing me off. The, um, the obsessiveness about the law of attraction idea. Because it is. A lot of people that talk about codependency talk about why we are vibrational matches to the experiences that happen to us. But isn't codependency like you controlling everything in your outside world? I, I feel like codependent people are prime like bait for this idea because they are used to finding their sense of self and sense of self-worth based on the outside world. So it is going to be more likely that these types of people invest their faith in law of attraction because it's what their mind is already strengthened to do. You understand? To find a sense of what is happening out there is a direct reflection of who I am. I just wanted to make that like very clear. I don't have like all the evidence. I don't ha I'm not sitting here with like a notebook and fucking like Wikipedia notes to like prove anything. But you know what I mean? I really just wanted to like emphasize the garbage that is put out there with like law of attraction. Like, can we just like make it basic, you know, stop trying to create so much meaning, so much story for why this, why that, why that, like, you know what I mean? Okay. That's it for my rant. <laughs> I will see you guys in another video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to.